What about equip off a little bit this way? Okay. So that's that's your problem there. That's that's a problem we have. So this car's got some ground clearance issues, and I probably got a couple options on that. I could change the suspension. So say a competition suspension, the race suspension, or something like that. Give myself a little bit more. But what I'm hoping to do, and let's, let's, let's look here, let's come around first. You don't have to watch me go through this whole thing. We're gonna, we're gonna come back around and see if it happens again. Okay, here we go. Try to keep it straight. If, you have, if you're absolutely perfect, you're okay. But there's got to be... And what I'm wondering is, I'm wondering if it isn't the, uh, the front license plate. It could be the radiator. It could be hitting on the radiator. I'm wondering if it's not the front license plate. So, what we're going to look at is, is there a bumper delete option? See, now here's what I'm thinking. See, is it hitting right there where it says turbocharged? Which I like the look of that. In case you're wondering, I kept the plate simply because it's got the whole Douglas Adams 4D2 at the start. Now, it could be hitting right there. Which, you know, is again, another deal. But, you know, if we, if we could take the bumper off, we still might run into a problem with the radiator. Or radiator, or however you think you want to say it, where you live. I don't know, I'm trying to think if there's any way we can get this to the front a little more clean. I would think with these tires, I should float over just about everything. I was completely and utterly shocked. But it is, it is slammed. I mean, the, the, the car has definitely got a low stance. So, I mean, we'll have to, we'll have to deal with that. Either that, I'll just have to learn to drive more properly on that part of the track. And, and this is, why I think, the only track I've seen this problem on. So, and again, just for the uninitiated, if you push any of these races, if you give them enough, some of them, if you go to one lap, it doesn't work properly, you don't get as much money, but if, if you push it to eight minutes, then you get the most amount of money that you can when you win here. If you do it on a solo run like this, you end it up with 8, 11, 3, 30, there he is. There you go, 8408. Whee! Another interesting point. Since the biker update, that little taunt you do at the end, that's just gone away. We just stand there. I don't know why that's happening. That's another little side glitch note that they have to work on. I miss my little photography thing. Okay, let's go see if we can fix this bumper. I'm gonna miss the bumper though. It does. I do like the chrome look. Maybe that shows my age. Well, let's see. I'm sure this isn't the only car. That, I'm sure this isn't the only car you'll run into this with. Well, I'm not really sure, but it's it's very likely it's not the only front bumpers. Okay, that will make it worse. That will make it even worse. That, hmm, that might be the same. Painted with a large splitter. Okay, that, well, it might be smoother. I don't <sighs> It's not going to solve the problem. It may give me some more downforce, though. Yeah, this is going to be my performance car. Yeah, it might protect the radiator a little bit. Let's wait, let's go counterintuitive. We'll clean the whole thing up so the look is consistent and I don't know, man. I think we're in trouble. I don't know, I'm pretty sure things like that though do matter as far as you put a front splitter on, it should give you downforce in the front, that kind of thing. 
Well, it's a different look. But this is going to be my serious racing car, so... You better get serious with it. Let's see what happens. It did seem to take that first turn a little bit better. Let's just talk general performance here for a second. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so uh, I pushed that a little bit too hard. Seeing if I can push it hard. So maybe it is just an appearance thing. Maybe we can go back to Chrome if this doesn't work. Yeah. Alright, let's see how this goes. A little bit off. Yeah, that's, that's just going to be a problem. Let's go back try it again. Okay, let's try this again. If you're straight on perfect, you're okay. But if you come in a little bit off, that's just gonna be a problem. Let's see. Let's see if this is the only car. If we can get another car that doesn't do that. It's a little more forgiving. Okay, first things first. What's wrong with her now? I don't, think there's... I don't think I even damaged that anywhere. I just didn't hit anything. That's weird. Bumpers. Let's see. Go right to bumpers. Rear bumper, go back to chrome. If that car was a woman, I'd guess her. Let's see. That didn't that didn't really gain us uh much here. Extended chin spoilers. Now there are there are things you don't see anything in the traction changing here, but there are some downforce multipliers that it may affect me going back to my, you know, standard sort of vein look here. Leaving the chrome out. That, that's still worse as far as clearance is concerned. That's the same. That's your, you're losing maybe an inch. It's still chrome. Yeah, that'll that'll protect the uh, the what you call it. It'll protect the radiator a little bit without uh, not that the radiator matters, but. That at least makes That's a little a sense. Right there. And we still got our chrome front. We still got our. Don't waste this. Come on, let mouse. Let's let's work. I just want to see it. I mean, I'll just. So from here, and I gotta get some batteries in this mouth. You still have a good look going to it. Might get a little bit of a downforce multiplier. Might not. And now. Should we consider a different car for just for Trench 2? Okay, the obvious thing to go to... Well, first of all, that would work great. We're not going to run into any trouble with Trench 2 with this one. But probably have some other problems with, you know, winning. The one thing you might want to consider is the Dominator. Now, let's see if the Dominator hangs up. It should. It should hang up just as much because it's got that whole front chin spoiler thing go in there. This is the, the obvious choice. Before we had the custom Sabre Turbo, this was the fastest of the muscle cars. And you know, it's an interesting thing. The stats you get, you know, when you, when you look in the garage and stuff like that, not necessarily telling the whole story. Definitely comes around quicker than the than the turbo does. At least that's what the feel is. So let's see what. Uh... The fact I didn't roll that over actually makes me kind of happy. This is such a touchy car. Takes a lot of skill to drive. It's actually not my first choice for this, but here we are. 
go in a little bit off. Okay, yeah. This is just the nature of the trench. Uh, here we go, 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 No, that won't work. Go sideways, it might. Did you come in? You're a little bit off. Oh, there. That might have. That might have been a little bit better. A little less sensitive. Is it less sensitive enough that I will take it over the uh, the turbo? No, no, not really. Let's just reset it. It's quicker than turning it around. Okay, maybe going at a little bit of an angle. Uh, maybe it's a matter of technique. We'll try the other car in a second. Oh, wait, we just reset this. Turn it around that way. Oh, it put me on the wrong side. He said, oh, you've done this enough times. Obviously, you're screwed up. We'll get you past it. Hey! Or maybe maybe you should just go over this backwards. <laughs> so you go at an angle. Oh, we might have a technique here, boys and girls. Let's see if we can do this. By the way, Rockstar, why can't we replay these? Come on. What if I want to do Trench 2 over and over again? I just have to go with the free mode and then reload it. Okay, let's see if this is something that you simply need technique for. You come in, you're a little bit off, so yeah, turn it the last... No. Okay. That was a little bit too far off there. Now I'm way too far off. No, it doesn't work with this car as well. The Dominator did uh, did clear it a little better. So we definitely have we definitely have an issue here. Okay, there there it would work. Could be that there's just that narrow window of technique. Please don't put me on the other side. Duh, you put me on the other side. If you're, if you're straight on, if you line that up with the stripes on the car, if you have them, then you'll do fine. This car is particularly sensitive, I think. Uh, there's, there's technique to it. That's interesting. So you can get back up here. There is, there would be a way if you want to do a backwards race on this. But if you're off like this, you're going airborne. No matter what kind of angle you put on it. Now there is one more car I want to try on. Because of my muscle cars, I mean, I like racing all my muscle cars. I, you know, I like the Buccaneer sometimes. My regular, you know, Tommy Versetti Special, of course. For Easter, we're going to race the Donk, which we'll hopefully get to do some French too with that, because that's where it'll really work. But as far as serious, you know, Sam the Eagle kind of seriousness, there is one other car that I will race as far as these things are concerned. And that is this car, the Gauntlet. You know, and if you look at the stats, the stats are nearly identical 
to the dominator. It, it, for some reason, there's some intangibles, there's some some hidden things on the dominator that make it a little bit quicker. And it could be just a matter of the fact that the dominator tends to oversteer while this tends to understeer. So you can you can with techniques spin the dominator a little bit more and get it through the turns, hustle it through the turns, and better. I think it may have an actual higher top speed as well, despite what it tells you. There's a lot of things that are iffy with this. As you can see, generally speaking, uh, the handling on, on this car is a lot more stable than the other two. It is a much easier car to drive. You, you, you might not always get first with it, though, because if you've got somebody you can drive, you know, the custom Saber Turbo, for instance, or, or a Dominator, and they're really good at it, you might not have the performance needed to catch up. So here we come around here. You're in this. And I've raced Trench 2 a lot with this car. We come around here. Look at that. Just a little bit of a kick. Now, that's not me being crazy, is it? Can we pull up from it? Can we, can we, can we, can we? No. Now we have to back up. You know, it's nice that they're generous with you with that. But I'm trying to do no, not this way again. No, 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 no. All right, at least we saved it. We can just reset. Back it straight up this time. I just want to do science. She blinded me with science. Okay. You come off, you're a little bit off. Look, that's that's. That, let's just see if we how far off we can get this, because I know that that particular thing would have kicked it right in the air. All right, if you're that far, if you're a full front end off, it will kick you, but not as hard. That would have been kind of recoverable, I think. Is it a speed thing? Uh, that, that's definitely less sensitive to the whole thing. Let us! Let us try one more thing. Probably would have been a whole lot easier just to, uh, you know, do the Bahama Mama Mia race and teleport myself back to the general area that way. I would have been quicker. Eh, let's just put this thing down someplace. Whee! Coming down! Excuse me! Helicopter, look out! And that's not gonna go well. I just wonder if you'll keep, uh, Nope, it won't blow up. All right. So now we're pretty close here. We can go here. We're far enough away from our personal vehicle. You're through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? I'll get there as soon as I can. And just takes a minute. Don't look. Don't look. It should get them closer. If you ha, <laughs> if you're not watching it, the magic happens, and then you. Let's see. Because the one thing I don't have on this car, first of all, we can see if there's any chin spoiler stuff that you could add on it. Uh, don't... Up, wrong turn. Where the heck am I? I'm making a wrong turn. Ran over some poor ladies of the evening making a wrong turn. I don't even think of where I'm going. I think I'm in the wrong street. Oh, you know, this stuff will happen. All the disorientation from trying to just crash a helicopter or crash a helicopter. You know, it's just. Let's 
Zoom. Okay. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? One of a couple things. First of all, I'm curious. We've got no bumper options, so that that might be working for us. But the um, the one thing we gotta look at wheels. Wheel type. I love the look of this. Once again, boy, it's pretty. Take a picture. Off road. Let's see. Stock rims. Throw the Amazons on it for good measure. Now that's a custom job. And you know me, what we'll do is we'll give them a paint job. So at least it's like in the livery, you know, the whole Steeler thing. Tires. Tire design? Do we want the custom all terrain radials? Yeah, let's do that for this one. What the heck? Let's go goofy. And now let's get out. Now, does that affect how it can handle that bump? Let's find out. All right, I can't say that the uh, the mud tires look bad. It's not necessarily the uh, the look I'd want with this thing, but if we're going to continue to race it, it becomes our go-to trench two player. It does do well on trench two because I mean it does. Trying to clip that just to see if the tires help with it, but I don't think it'll help anyway. This does handle well. It doesn't handle fast, that's the whole I should do time things, but we're focusing on a specific thing right here, and that is this specific thing. If I come in here like this, okay, that's is that significantly worse? Well, that was kind of cool, actually. Is that worse, though? Are the mud tires making it worse? Oh, dear. Here we go again. Come on. No. Mud tires. Activate off-road super grippy. This isn't going to work, is it? No, 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 no. They're very generous to you with that. If you wreck it coming off of there, it's like they knew. No, this isn't gonna... This is a trap, and we know it. Ooh! Back right over that? Let's just... No. Alright, that was without a hitch. Look at that! Now it drove right over that. The other cars could not do that. So I think, let's see, again, I don't, I don't know that it's affected at all, so it's not the mud tires making it more sensitive. We just have to do some science here. The mud tires definitely helped there. That would have absolutely sent the car loopy. So, I don't know. Will this be my Trench 2 player? Maybe not. We'll see. This is, it's an option, though. So should we do um, should we do a quick lap time kind of thing? See which one pulls down what better lap time between the gauntlet and the... Uh... Are you guys up for that? Might as well. Don't... It's not, that's not what we're talking about. The trick is, can I pull off a couple clean laps here? I'm trying to do it without having it go hither and dither. Not like I'm brophy. Okay, save time. We're going to just do one lap. So it won't be a flying lap. It'll be with the start. Damn, yeah, the gauntlet's here. We'll do the gauntlet first.
And I'm not gonna do the Dominator because that the Dominator is still it, it's it's almost like we're trying two styles of car here. We've got the tight style of suspension where we'll tend to push as opposed to kick around versus the loose style suspension, which I think the, uh, the Custom Saber Turbo definitely falls under the loose category. Oh dear. Whoa, hey, well that looked cool. And I don't think it was slow. Okay, I'm going to try and do this as close to perfect as I can. It wasn't perfect. Had to lift there a little bit because there's just near good way of going about it there. Just for the position that it was in. Usually, oh yeah, I should have lifted going up that hill a little bit more. Just so I don't bounce off the wall. But, heavy brakes coming through that turn. Not a perfect run, but probably a typical run. 12266. And again, broken. Rockstar, get on that. I need to take pictures of people. And other people need to do DJ stuff or flip people off or pick their nose. We need that stuff. Okay. <laughs> let's move on. Now, let's see. Can. Can. The admitted and acknowledged fastest muscle car. Tame Trench 2. At my hand, admit. Someone else might be able to blow my doors off with this thing, but let's just see if I've got the skill it takes. To hustle this baby around. Concentrating so hard now, it might be quiet. Might not be rambling as much. I'm off a little bit. Come on. We did it. We got through the the tough lip there. Same position. Can we squeak it through on this side? Just, just. Feather the throttle a little bit on that one. Come around this corner. Just a couple corners left. Don't go off the edge. Finish first. 119. That's significantly faster. So, folks, it's looking like Custom Saber Turbo is the way to go with this. That's going to be our standard. Even for Trench 2, it's just going to take a little more technique. And on that note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. Alright, just so the naysayers don't say nay. Let's go scientific about this. Well, even though the, the weather is automatically set to sunny, it leaves a little bit of water on the road. Hopefully that won't affect things over much, but... Let's give the Dominator its due here. Again, I'm going to be really quiet with this one. Tried really hard there. Take it as fast as I could without 
without spinning it out. I don't think I lost too much speed on it. Again, you know, not a perfect run, but might be a typical one. Should have gotten the butt down a little bit better there. Oh, struggling. Feather in the throttle. Again, if you've got the skill, maybe you can beat that. Maybe you can you can do it. I'll even try it one more time here. Let's see if we can beat that. 121 does I don't think that's giving it its its full uh full measure. I don't want to change the tires on it because I like those so much. The dominator isn't really my dominator isn't my race car right now. It's got kind of you know. That's the car I have because I like it. And we have to go back to free mode and then reload. Honestly, replay, Rockstar, get working on that. the middle as we can here. Cut as much distance off it as we can. Get the best line going here. Uh, catch it, catch it. Almost didn't catch it. Did that better last time. I did that better this time though. Couldn't do that, I think, any better. I know someone who could take a better line will certainly eat me alive here. One seventeen. Okay, so you, you can, in theory, hustle that dominator around faster. Now, it takes all of my will and power to do that. I feel like trying the now. I feel like trying the turbo one more time. See if I can get it beat a one seventeen. All right. Let's see if can we beat a one seventeen. I'm, I'm not going to do it this round. Nope. Do over. Pushed it too hard.
Okay, I matched it. Took every ounce of concentration and skill that I had. And there were a couple places I was not perfect there, so... I guess the debate will live on, as far as, you know, this particular track, at least, which one's faster. It's, uh, you know... You can win either way, and that's the way it should be. It should be balanced. And on that note... That note... And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.